morning guys i am watching as you just heard christian guzman on youtube um i'm about to go to the gym and it is about half ten at the moment um i think it's leg day i need to check my schedule pretty sure it's leg day just thought i would show you guys quickly before i go my body progress so like just what my body is looking like at the moment because i don't think i did that to be like at the start of my book um i've been showing you guys my workouts and my food and everything what i'm eating but i haven't shown you guys what i look like <laughs> so i'm just going to quickly show you guys um and i need to do some stretches as well my back has been so sore the past couple of days i was working three days in a row before this oh my god this light from the window is making me look super washed out um let's stand back a bit but yeah um i was working three days in a row um like the last three days and yesterday was a long day so like an eight to eight so i'm so tired the last thing i want right now is to go to the gym I'd rather be in bed but I just want to get it over and done with and have the rest of my day to you know do whatever I need to do really um so yeah let me just show you guys what I look like excuse any mess you may see in the background by the way <laughs> um so yeah um, basically what I've been trying to do is to gain as much as I can in my legs um, and my back obviously kind of like the two biggest muscle groups um, but yeah mostly my legs because that for me is like I'm trying to gain as much shape as possible if that makes sense um, because naturally I just don't have hips I don't have big thighs it just whenever I put on weight it always goes to my face you know my belly my arms everywhere but my bottom half so i think my leg progress so far is pretty good um and then my back as well my back i'm pretty happy with my back i don't know if you guys can even see properly with all this bra action going on but if you follow me on instagram i have loads of posts um like you know pictures and stuff but my back so go ahead and follow me on instagram if you're not following already at i just Steph. um and ab wise i'm I, I don't know my abs are okay still you know a load of fat back fat all of that going on because i mean i am bulking but not to worry because once i start to cut then you know I'll be grand then. So I'm continuing to bulk. Like I'm not gonna cut or anything for the summer. I just can't be bothered. Um, I don't need to. I don't want to. I just don't have the desire to have like that, quote unquote, shredded summer body. Like I'm not going anywhere. Once I feel like I can't really gain anymore and I'm just eating for pleasure at that stage, then I think I'll cut down a little bit. But yeah, I just need to do some stretches because yeah, my back has just been really, really sore the past couple of days um for those of you who don't know i have this sounds really bad saying i have a deformed spine but that's basically what it is like it curves in more than it should um in kind of the middle part so it kind of affects like any rotation movements that i do like whether i bend forward or turn to the side like it just hurts really bad um and it's hard to even like get as much flexibility in that area because it's like pretty fused tightly those you know the particular joints so and I'm lazy I don't do half of the stretches and physio that I'm supposed to but I'm really trying to keep on top of things now um so I'm gonna head gonna go ahead and do my stretches and then head to the gym so yeah I'll see you guys in a bit
So this week guys, I really wanted to work on my pull-ups. I did so many sets, I don't even know, I lost count how many sets I did. Um, but I started off with supinated grip pull-ups. So that's where my fingers are facing me. Um, and obviously that's going to be a little bit easier because your biceps are giving you that extra bit of help. So I did a few sets of those. And then I moved on to pronated grip pull-ups. So my finger is facing away from me, which is a lot harder for me. Like, yeah, <laughs> I struggled. So I ended up getting some random guy in the gym to spot me. And I think I was able to do about six or seven reps of this. Um, yeah, I just keep on practicing as much as I can and you know what they say, slow progress is better than no progress. So I just got in and I thought I would show you guys what I picked up from the shop on the way home. Um, got a whole chicken, some strawberries, they were on sale, two for three euro two burgers i feel like having burgers again tonight guys and this time if i do end up having burgers this time i will show you guys how i make my um bread dough thing um and i just got some eggs and some quark cheese which as you guys know i'm just obsessed with at the moment and then as i was about to pay came across this by the till and i was like oh quest bar so treating myself to a little quest bar and I've actually never tried this flavor before it's the strawberry cheesecake um so yeah I am going to try this and hopefully it's good it was either this or the chocolate peanut butter but I'm not really a fan of chocolate protein products I don't know it just doesn't work for me it's not real chocolate I want chocolate but you know anyways so hopefully this is good um, i'm gonna try it out um because i'm starving right now um if i say um one more time <laughs> um i'm gonna go shower and go to tesco no actually i think i'll go to tesco more like in the evening time i need to make this chicken yeah i'm gonna go shower and make my chicken and then just relax in bed because like i said before i'm super tired as usual and I need some rest, so quest Fuck it. Mmm. 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 Hey guys, so it's like five hours later. Well, not five hours, but. I went to sleep for a little bit and then I was on Skype with my friend Gabriella. Um, we we're talking about like food and fitness and boys and life and just everything. Um, but anyway, I've showered and as you can see, I'm gonna wear different clothes obviously. Um, I'm gonna go to Tesco in a bit, but I need to eat first. I haven't eaten since the Quest Bar. Actually, no, that's a lie. I had a go ahead bar because I thought I was gonna nap for longer and I was really hungry. Um, and my chicken wasn't even ready yet. But yeah, I'm just gonna make some fried rice now. So I have my rice. It's already made, the rice that I'm using. Like, so it's cooked rice with some bacon bits, two eggs, ginger, garlic, a jalapeno, and some onion. And then I just have some seasoning there. Um, my chicken is already made. It's in the oven, but I need to do this like super quick and head out because it's like six o'clock, I think and Tesco closes at seven. Oh my God, I need to hurry. So here I just have my rice and I'm mushing it in with one egg and some of the seasoning. I have my bacon bits sizzling away. I'm just gonna add this to the pan. Sorry if this footage is like super shaky. Um, I just wanted to be able to use two hands and show you guys, um, you know, firsthand what I'm doing instead of just explaining it later. So 
I basically have my camera <laughs> strap hanging around my neck. That's why it's kind of all moving all over the place. And I'm holding it now anyway. So yeah, I just have to make sure the pan is nice and hot. And I'm just going to leave this to um, fry until it's nice and dry and the grains of rice like separate easily. So yeah. And while that's frying, I am going to continue chopping up my veg. I have my onions, my garlic, my ginger. I'm just going to chop up some of this jalapeno and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to be using any veg in this because eh, I just can't be bothered right now. I'm in a hurry. So yeah, that's all that's going to be going into the fried rice. So now that that's nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead and add my ginger and onions and stuff like that. Yeah. I have veg in the microwave. <laughs> I changed my mind. I decided just to add a little bit of veg, you know, just to add a bit of colour to it. Right, so I'm going to just add all of this in. And I'm only going to add half of the onions because I like to have um, some onions for like the end part so they're nice and crunchy. So I've added the veg and that's looking pretty good. Now over here I just have the last ingredients to go in. Just some dark soy sauce, a bit of black pepper and the onions. Oh, and the egg also. I'm going to add that egg in at the very last minute. I'm literally on my tippy toes right now guys to be able to get this shot because <laughs> I'm so short if I stood like at my normal height it would be like this but yeah tippy toe angle okay guys so I'm in Tesco and um, they're closing in like 10 minutes but here is what I picked up I'll show you guys um if I can just get my life together <laughs> Um, so I just got some bananas and um, four of the Phage Total 0% Greek Yogurt. Some soy milk, uh, celery, cheese and behind the cheese there is some spinach. Oh and I got some sweet potatoes as well underneath there. So I am just going to make my way home now and I'm still full from my last meal but I'm going to have to start cooking my next meal which is the burgers and stuff um, so yeah I'm just going to make my way home and do that I'm just about to make my two ingredient high protein bread dough thingamabob so basically what I'm using is some self raising flour and I need a cup and a half of self raising flour and then just one cup of the um, phage total greek yogurt and normally I wouldn't need to use any baking powder, but I like adding baking powder to stuff because then it makes it bigger. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of baking powder and knead it all together and just roll it into shape. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you guys what the um, pre-oven product looks like. This is the finished product and I'm keeping this bit on the side because I want to make some dough balls with it but this is going to be the burger bun and right now if the focus <laughs> and right now I'm just gonna brush well not exactly brush because I'm using a spoon seeing as I don't have a pastry brush yeah but I'm just gonna glaze the top of it with some melted butter just to give it that nice golden brown color and what I'm gonna do with this is basically I'm just gonna pull it apart into um, smaller sections and I'm gonna um, dice some garlic and melt it with the butter just stick it in the microwave for a few seconds 
and then I'm just gonna put that into the little sections that I make out of this piece of dough and trust me guys it is to die for it's so good Here's the finished product of the dough balls. There's how many is there all together? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Seven dough balls and I'm gonna go ahead and put this as well as the bread into the bo into the oven. Into the oven now and then I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of my dinner, which is the burgers. Um, I'm only going to make one of them though, I'll just leave the other one in the fridge until I'm ready to have it. Because reheated burger is not the one. It's just, no, it's not nice. So here is the finished product guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and eat all the dough balls because um, I don't really want to have to reheat it tomorrow to be honest with you. Um, but yeah. That is it for today's vlog. I'm gonna head, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the little recipes and stuff that I shared with you guys. And make sure to follow me on my social media as well. All the links are in the description box. Instagram, Twitter, I just Steph. Um, yeah, all the info is below. And um, subscribe also. I'm sure you guys know the drill. You know, subscribe, thumbs up and comment below all that good stuff and i shall see you next time oh and i don't think i showed you guys my breakfast that's because i hadn't decided to vlog at that point in the day i am um, i'm gonna insert a clip here of what i did have for breakfast because it's the exact same thing i had um a few days ago and i happened to film it and have pictures of it and stuff like that so i'm just gonna insert it here or have it on the side yeah um so yeah go ahead and click the link to watch that vlog and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye cucumber really high water content i just love getting as much cucumber in my diet as possible it's high in fiber as well if you don't peel the skin off of it and gives it a really really nice fresh taste